Hello, Jeff Darrington here, Senior Technical Market Manager at Greylog. Today we're going to be looking at doing an install of Greylog using Docker Container. And we're going to have a slight twist on this. What we're going to do is install Enterprise Greylog on a Raspberry Pi. And we're going to use the new image that we just came out with just a few days ago, which is the ARM64 Docker image. And to do this, I had some trouble on a Raspberry Pi 3, as it's not a 64-bit platform. And I reached out to a good friend of mine, Aaron Saxon Support, and lo and behold, he had a Raspberry Pi 4. So I thought we'd take this as a session to get together and do a quick demo of installing Raspberry Pi with Docker and Docker Compose. So just as a note, we've already installed Docker, so we're not going to go through the complete installation. There's plenty of documentation on that, but we are going to look at our Docker Compose and configuration file so you can understand where we'll go from there. So let's bring in Aaron. Okay, thanks for joining me today, Aaron. Uh, let me do something yeah, interesting. I thought I'd reach out to you. I noticed I uh, wanted to do a video on Docker Compose and how that works. And okay. lo and behold, we had a surprise. We now have an ARM64 image. Yeah. So this is kind of cool. I'm going to work with you and I'm going to give you the steering wheel. Looks like we're going to do a Raspberry Pi install yeah. of Greylog Enterprise using Docker. Yes, so, yes, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Uh, looks like uh, for those, at least for those folks who are familiar with Greylog and our, our Docker images, uh, we've been pushing out a lot of like AMD 64 images. And recently we just released this ARM64 image. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start by sharing my screen and y'all get to see my lovely little Raspberry Pi that I've got here. Cool. Um, so yeah, just to walk through this. Um, you can see I'm running the latest version of Ubuntu, uh, long-term release that is uh, on my Raspberry Pi. Um, this sucker has got about four gigs on it. Um, so it's, you know, for Raspberry Pi, it's, it's a little beefy. Um, and let's go ahead and get into that compose file. Excellent. So I'm gonna do vim, compose. There we go. Cool, so all this is pretty standard stuff for us. Um, Mongo already puts out an ARM image. Uh, Elasticsearch puts out an ARM image and we too have joined the ranks of uh, companies who are putting out more software available on the ARM platform. So all this is pretty standard stuff um, with the exception that I'm running the Greylog Enterprise image, which you can see right here. Uh, I'll talk about why that's important here in just a minute, but let's go ahead and quit out. Uh, I've already gone through the exercise of pulling down all the images, so you don't have to wait about the 12 or so minutes that it's going to take uh, for all those to pull down. So I'm just going to go ahead and get them started up. Now, uh, while Docker is starting those images, I'm going to run a Docker Compose PS. I'm actually going to run that as a watch. Um, so we've got a health endpoint uh, available in the, the gray log image. And that's gonna tell me when, when my image is actually up and running. So yeah, I, I did mention that the enterprise image is important here. Uh, about, about around February, um, we released the gray log enterprise image or the gray log enterprise line of images. Um, and the reason this is important is if you've been using Greylog Enterprise in a Docker or, you know, container environment in the past, uh, you've had to pull down the individual plug-in jars that eventually get mounted into a container in order to make Greylog Enterprise work. Uh, you know, that, that wasn't the greatest experience. Um, so what we decided to do is actually package, excuse me, all of those plugins uh, into the Greylog Enterprise image, which now, if you want to take Greylog Enterprise for a spin, you know, you want to like put in a request for a, uh, a free five gig enterprise license and see what Greylog Enterprise is all about, um, you can do that and you can actually run it uh, as a container. So, you know, a, running this on a Raspberry Pi uh, in a home lab environment is, is great. Um, it's great for like just doing some little demos or, you know, maybe you've got something like uh, a NAS server that you want to start, you know, checking out the logs from, um, you can do that. Uh, and so, 
yeah, we're going to continue to wait for the container to spin up, uh, which should be happening any time now. Uh, but Jeff, any questions, anything you want to chat about while we're waiting? Well, this really does give you the ability to, to trial something very quickly um, with the compose file. So the compose file, you, you know, if you were going to spin this up for real somewhere else, you can reuse that compose file, modify your storage locations, and away you go. So this is a really good way of deploying Graylog very quickly onto a platform. And in this case, because we are supporting the ARM64 release now, it makes it much, much easier to do that. Now, you could always yeah. install natively in Pi. So if you had you know, a Raspberry Pi Ubuntu version, you could natively download the packages and install it, um, make it native to the operating system. But having Docker uh, images are a really, really nice way to go. And lo and yeah. behold, we are up and running. Yeah. Yeah. So for the folks who are watching, uh, you'll notice that my, my watch command returned an unhealthy uh, value, uh, which is probably more of a timeout than it is anything. Um, but you can see here, just curling the API, uh, I get a healthy response back. Um, and you know, this is uh, where we have our little tagline about managing your logs in the dark and having lasers going and making it look like you're from space. Uh, obviously, means that we're up and running. So let me flip over to my browser and let's just give it a, uh, a check here. So here we go. Uh, white page is good. Uh, that means that everything's loading. Now, you know, I did mention this is Raspberry Pi. Again, it's not going to be quite as snappy as something you, you might have uh, if you're running Graylog on a like digital ocean instance, or, you know, even like one of our support engineers, Edward, who has got this massive Dell server at his house that he runs it on. Um, but hey, yeah, for, for home lab environments, this does the trick, right? Or buy four Raspberry Pi 4s and set up a cluster and away you go. Yeah, run run keys or uh, run the canonical version of Kubernetes if you really want to. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So yeah. if you see this page on a Raspberry Pi 4 and you're running Graylog on Docker, this is success right here. So, you know, once you've got this up and running, uh, you, you are pretty much off to the races. Uh, you know, you can spin up some inputs, start, you know, aiming like your home router logs or, uh, you know, maybe like an open NAS server or like a Synology NAS at uh, your gray log instance. And there you go. Well, this is awesome, man. I really appreciate this, uh, being able to demo this and show kind of two things all at once. And that's the Docker compose file, how it works. And as well, the Raspberry Pi portion, which was with our ARM image now available for Docker. I appreciate yeah. you. Appreciate you joining us today. Hopefully everyone enjoyed that quick demo. And as always, happy logging with, with Greylog and have a great day. All right, happy Thanks, logging, y'all. My Take pleasure, care. Jeff. See ya.